From a Valentine's Day dinner to the ER, a woman suddenly became ill and nearly lost her life. But thanks to a practice called individualized medicine, she survived and is using her story to spread awareness. As Chris Yu explains, experts from around the world are at Minnesota's Mayo Clinic to talk about how individualized medicine is saving lives. February 14th, we went out for a Valentine dinner. And the second course of that dinner, I ended up in an ER. Karen Daggett recalls a few years ago in Florida when she nearly lost her life. I was in full body tremors. I was chalky white. I was dizzy. I was faint. I couldn't remember my birth date. They told my husband that within 12 hours, you'd be taking her home in a box. Baffled by what was wrong with Daggett, doctors sent her to Mayo Clinic. Through the next two weeks, their testing here, they finally solved the puzzle. Turns out Daggett's heart medications were making her sick because her liver couldn't process them. They don't have that liver enzyme to do it. Mayo Clinic figured that out by testing her DNA. It's part of a concept called individualized medicine in which doctors match the diagnosis and treatment to an individual based on his or her genetics, environment, and lifestyle. This is a harnessing the power of the human genome to personalize care, and it's really what we think is the future of medical uh, care and, and medicine in the United States. This week, hundreds of researchers from around the world are attending a conference at the Civic Center to discuss the latest advances in this field and hear Daggett's success story. This is why she's sick, this is why she almost died, and now we'll change all her meds and she's going to be here, and I'm here today to tell you that. Daggett urged her family to get tested to see if their livers face the same problem with medication as hers. Turns out, 19 family members across four generations have the issue, but now they know they can prevent themselves from becoming sick. Sick, excuse me. Still to come, we'll have another look at your evening weather planner.